So what you just saw was the boot up of the droid. Uh, you may have noticed the sound was different from the other vid boot up videos you may have seen. That's just because I changed the notification sound because I thought the droid uh, one was kind of obnoxious. But right now I just want to give you an overview of kind of Android 2.0 and the droid software. So this is the screen that uh, comes up right after you uh, turn it on and it's the uh, unlock screen. Normally you just slide something across to unlock it. But I wanted to show you what it's like if you set a code. So you have to have a pattern set. So I'm just going to enter mine in and it looks kind of like this. And that unlocks it. Which I think is kind of neat. Most other phones you just like type in some numbers or something. But this one you actually do something. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is a really cool feature I really like. is the notification bar. Which up at the top here where the battery bars and like the time is on most phones. That's also there on the droid, but it also shows you things like mail and if you missed a phone call or something. And also applications can be set to have notifications pop up there. But what the really cool thing is you just push take the bar and you drag it down. And if you can tell I have uh it says I have new voicemail and I have an email. And if I want to go to the email I just tap it and it'll pull up the email application with it open. And that's really cool. And then I just want to show you the home screen. Uh, a lot of you people, a lot of people uh, probably think this resembles the iPhones, and it kind of does, but let's give you a better view. But it also has things like widgets. If you can tell, I have the YouTube widget, which if I touch, it'll open up YouTube. But it also has another bar that'll open up video. So you can uh, actually upload a video directly to YouTube from this phone. Then we have the Google uh, search widget, which will search the whole phone. And also voice search, which is pretty cool. I'll show you that a little later. And there are also two other views. And each one can have a wallpaper set. But they all can have uh, widgets and icons on it. And then to find all your applications, you just go to the bottom. You can either tap it. Ah, sorry. Well, tapping isn't the best. Normally, you just drag it up and down, and it'll go most of the way on its own. So you drag it up, and this will show, like, your applications list. It's in alphabetical order. And I want to show you the browser, which I think is comparable or even better to the iPhones. So I'm just going to open it up here. And I just want to show you this is pretty cool. I'm not sure if it's going to do it, but you can easily get it to uh, change from horizontal to vertical. And it, it works horizontally with the virtual keyboard, which I think is a lot really cool. A lot of uh, slider touch screens don't normally do that. So now I just want to type, I'll tell you the speed. I'm going to type in a website, type in our site fun com. It came up here because I've gone to it before. I'm just going to tap it. And normally a site, like I'm on, on the BlackBerry Storm, will take maybe a minute up to load. On this, you already start using it in like less than 10 seconds and it's about to be fully loaded. And it looks just like it would on my desktop and it just finished loading. Which I think this browser is great. And I think it would be faster than the iPhones if Verizon had a faster 3G service, with service which AT&T 3G is actually faster. But we have more coverage. Next thing I'm going to show you is the settings, which you can get to from the home, home screen by hitting the menu button. And it does have haptic feedback on the menu buttons, which you can turn off if you don't like. Then you just go to the settings button. Okay, so this is the settings menu, and I just wanted to show you, it just has most settings, but that's really it. The next thing I wanted to show you was the music application, which, I'm just going to open it up, Let's scroll down a little bit, let me see if I can find it. I've downloaded so many applications. Okay. I really wanted to show you the speed, because on most phones it 
tends to lag a lot. So I'm just going to open up the songs menu and just scroll through it and just show you how smooth it is. Which, like on my Touch Pro 2, the music application takes 5 minutes to open and scrolling is horrible. So, thanks for watching and that's it.